Go ahead and, and pray for somebody. Dear God, we come before you thanking you for this occasion, thanking you for the fellowship, thanking you for the ministries represented on this study. God, we ask that you bless us to, to have a better understanding of your righteousness. And God, help us function in your kingdom code. Yes, Lord. Our families, and bless this your world. <clears throat> in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And, and I do want to start us off by reminding everyone that we're uh, we're still coming out of the same scripture where we started was Matthew that six and thirty three because he mentioned two things in there we've already talked about kingdom culture because he said uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things be added unto you. And, and so we talked about the kingdom culture, uh, the kingdom yeah. of God, and then being able, and if you're going to live in the kingdom, you got to live by the culture of that kingdom. But now we gotta, we're talking about what does he mean by his righteousness? And, and so, because uh, you, 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 it's not one, uh, one or, it's both and. You, he, he says, seek God and his righteousness. And, and really, Part of what we came to understand last week, if we're seeking God and his righteousness is part of his, uh, his character, then we're automatically seeking his righteousness. If we're going to seek him, then we got to seek his righteousness. We got to come by his standard and not by our own. We don't get to create the standard. God mm -hmm. already has the standard. And so last time we talked, well, we we uh, talked from Psalms 19, 7 through 9. And then we started into Romans 1, uh, 16 and 17. And we did some discussion from that. So I want to pick up from there uh, again tonight and uh, talk a little bit uh, more about that and focus really more on 17 and 16. But I want to read both of those. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. And so... And then Paul goes on to talk about unrighteousness, but we want to focus upon the righteousness. And notice what he, he what Paul makes a connection here between the gospel of Christ and God's righteousness. He said the gospel of Christ is the power of God unto salvation. The good news about what Christ, or who Christ is and what he's done is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it. He, he, it, is, it is what ushers us into salvation. And he says, in salvation, the righteousness of God is revealed. And he says it's from faith to faith. And then there's a lot of different ways of looking at that. But the way that I like best that in the studies that I've done is, that is, is when it talks about it, it, we talked about righteousness being akin to justice and holiness, and and, and God is the is uh, is being the one who uh, established righteousness, and it, because He's the only one that's truly holy, and and the, and the fact that He's the only one that's truly just. Mm -hmm. The thing that I liked about this is it pointed out that the gospel. Is God's method of the of uh, declaring man righteous. Mm. It is God's method of moving us into a place where He can say that we are righteous. But it's only through the gospel. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not something that we can earn. Uh, he said, "Is uh, we live by what faith? So it's mm -hmm. not earned." It's something that, but it's God's means of doing it. It 
God is able to declare us just or righteous by our faith in what Christ has done. And what Christ has done is satisfied. That word, if you go into Hebrews, then it says propitiation uh, for our mm -hmm. sins. He became that he was, it was his sacrifice that satisfied justice. Justice says that the wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. Help me, Holy Spirit. I get this mm -hmm. right. The wages of and God, because his, uh, his law flows from who he is, he, he, he can't go back on that. So, okay. so, so, so all sin, death had to be paid. Justice had to be paid. And the price of sin is death. Mm -hmm. so that death, that, that, that price had to be paid. Mm -hmm. And the gospel says, that Jesus Christ paid that price. And if you look at Hebrews, and I think it's the second chapter, and mm -hmm. uh, well, we're going to go there. We're going to go ahead and go there since we, because we want to make sure everybody get it. Hebrews, the second chapter, and I think it's the 18th verse. I'm going to get to talk about this some more sometime, but not tonight, but uh, but Hebrews, the second chapter. You said 18? Uh, no, it's not 18. Uh, it is Hebrews, the second chapter. What's the phrase you're looking for in there? The fact that he did it for everyone. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Once and for all, I think. Huh? While you look for that text, the one that you read earlier, something that stuck out to me in, when it talked mm -hmm. about um, living by faith. Yes. It reminds us that this is a journey with God and that. Um, we have to be constantly journeying towards God. And we are coming from a place of evil. Yes. A place that God has prepared for us. And that's what it is meant by from faith to faith. Faith, yes. Mm -hmm. And we have to be careful because sometimes we can develop a mindset where we justify our wrong. Go ahead. The wrong. Yes. And you have a seared consciousness uh -oh. while thinking you're living by faith. Spiritual numbness. But see, now you're going to the second part of our lesson. <laughs> but it's, it's Hebrews 2, verse number 9. Okay? It says, but we see him who for a little while was made lower than the angels, namely Jesus, crowned mm -hmm. with, with, the, with glory and honor because of the suffering of death. So that the grace of God, so that the grace of God, he might taste death for everyone. everyone. Okay. Individually. He did it mm -hmm. not for us collectively, but individually. His death was enough to pay for every individual believer's sin. Now, uh, here's the deal. And we're not going to get into this one tonight either. He didn't just pay for the sins that you did in the past. He paid for mm -hmm. all of your sins. <laughs> mm -hmm. So so how do we grapple with where in Hebrews it says, he or she who willingly continues in sin, there remains no blood sacrifice. That's right. Because they, they, they actually, they're, they're, yeah. the, the whole thing is a, uh, is a walk of faith. And if you're willing to continue mm -hmm. in that, that means that you're denying the faith. Right. I, 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 that's why I wanted you to say that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, 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 but I haven't established the faith part yet, but that's gotcha. right. So, yeah. it, it, so you got to actually, so, but, but, so we, we, he did it for everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, for individually, he, his, his death is enough. It, it's mm -hmm. like he, 
And uh, uh, efficacious is the word. That says he was a propitiation, meaning it satisfied the debt. Yeah. Uh, right. It, 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 it's like uh, somebody going in and writing a billion dollar check for right. everybody's uh, utility bill. Knowing it's never going to cost anywhere near that. So it's enough there that no matter what they bring in, it's covered. And, and, and so that 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 really is the is the essence of what he's he's trying to tell you. He satisfied our debt. Yeah. He, he so, now that doesn't Paul gets into Romans as well. He said, Does that mean that we continue? He said, God forbid. Well, that, yeah. that, that we would be denying the faith if we did that. So right. So, so what he's saying is, is that the gospel of Christ, the gospel of what he did, that uh, is God's power to salvation that allows him to call us righteous. Okay. Not just that, us, that, but all those you. who came before us that was mm -hmm. looking to the sacrifice that he did. And all those that would come after us because we came after Paul. And when he said this, we weren't there yet. We hadn't been born, so we had not done any sin. But Christ did it ahead of time. So knowing that we were coming and that we were going to need the same covering that that uh that he got. So there that, he that is. scripture that that scripture that you were looking for about the propitiation, yeah. The 17 verses, second chapter of Hebrews. It says, yes. uh, therefore, in all things he made to be like his his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God to make propitiation for the sins of the people. The is that the one you're talking about? That's it. That's a, so you got two things in there in Hebrews. He did it for everybody, and it was enough to satisfy the requirement. It satisfied it. it, it that, that, that there's that, that you don't have to have a that there's no there, there's no need for any more sacrifice because it's satisfied it it's already satisfied. So, so I got a question for you since since you talked about ahead. that. Now, a person that uh, reject reject uh, this gift this free gift of salvation. It rejects this free gift of God, salvation, and because we can reject, it, reject. It. Yes, that person cannot, uh, won't, won't uh, receive the benefits of it because they rejected something that's free, that's already done for them, and it's as it's, it's, it's if you deny your the opportunity for you. It's like you live beneath your privilege. That you live beneath don't. whatever what was even available to you. You live beneath it, and so a person can reject it. Yes, because uh, it, it tells us that because it said, therefore we must give the most earnest heed to the things that we have heard, lest at any time we let them slip. In the first verse of that chapter, so it's a possibility of letting it slip because you you can uh, reject. Yes, and, and, and I think the brother mentioned that sometimes people use the, the they try to justify their sin by using what what's done in the scriptures. As if that, as if they're okay to, to commit that sin, but it's never been that case. No, it's never the case. God never steps away from His righteousness. So there you go. What I'm, what I'm go asking, ahead. Oh, no, so go what ahead. I'm thinking is that when a person rejects God, it's as if you saying, uh, it's as if you telling Mama, uh, the hand that feeds you, I don't want no more. That's what you're saying. It's yeah, the hand yeah, that provided that open doors for you. The hand that, that gives you the breath to breathe. And, and you calling him a liar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're saying that what he said ain't true. You, you, you're telling him possible. that that his gift is not sufficient. Yeah. And what he said ain't true, that you got to do it yourself. That's right. So, and, and, and God ain't going to force his gift on nobody. That's true. Sure ain't. He, he's not, not gonna force all. it, so he lets you. Uh, uh, mm. That's why the scripture says, uh, "If we neglect that, that there remain no more sacrifice." Oh. Uh. So if we if we walk away from the gift of Christ, there's no other sacrifice. We don't have nowhere else to go. Mm. That we have no only through Him and Him only 
That's why he can say, uh, everybody come, no man coming unto the Father except by me. By me. Mm. So if we don't go through him, we don't get there. So I, I can't I can't look within myself and find find the peace of God. Won't happen. <laughs> Won't happen. Uh, I mean, it, it, I mean, if, if I just sit back for a moment and just block out everything, don't think about nothing, just look inside of me, can I not find tranquility uh, and, and peace and calm and love within me? It won't happen. It, it, and we're going to get to it in a minute when we get to Isaiah 45, that he's saying that, 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 no, that there's no other name. And in fact, he's he going to tell you that at some point, everybody's going to have to acknowledge that who he is. Yeah, right. That's every a, knee you know, bow, every tongue. Come. At some point, we're going to have to acknowledge that. But so, so no, he. We got to go back to his justice and remember his holiness. And, and he, he created, and that's in Isaiah two. I guess we're going to have to go there because I want to point out that, that that what he just said stated. There's a lot of religions built around that very I know. issue that he said, and and, and it's an error. It's an error, man. It's still it's still out there. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, I it, mean, it, they, they 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 dress it up. They call it yoga. They call uh, it meditation. Yeah. Uh, Buddhism. You know. Yeah. It, it, it's it, 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 there is no other name given unto men whereby we whereby must, must must be saved. Must be. Right. Must be saved. And that is the only way that we can enter into the presence of a thrice holy God. We yes. have to be saved. Because if you ain't righteous, you can't get in. <laughs> and, and you only get in, you only get to be declared righteous by faith in him. One say that way. again. Say, say, say that again, Lee. If you, you ain't you, righteous, you, you, you are what declared Declared righteous. righteous. We, you, we haven't got to that yet, but that but, I, I'm but, not righteous. No. You're not righteous. We're, We're declared just, righteous. It's, 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 it's being given to us. It's a free Thank gift. You. We Thank you. It. All right, let's go to those scriptures. So I'm going to read these two, the, these uh, two sets of scriptures, and okay. then we can talk some more so people don't think I'm making this stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> So I want to read first for them Isaiah uh, 45, uh, verses 18 through 25. Yeah. 18 through 25? Yep. Okay. I think I remember that. And then this is... Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna just read it and then we can talk about it. For thus says says the Lord, who created the heavens, mm -hmm. and, and in parentheses uh, it says He is God, who formed the earth and made it. He established it. He did not create it empty. He formed it to be inhabited. That, that, that I just want to tell you, it's, it's pointing out that God made the earth on purpose and, and intentionally. Mm -hmm. There was intentionality mm -hmm. in it. it, it he, either, he knew we would need water, so he put some water on it and made it cool to begin with. He, he knew mm -hmm. we would need dry ground, so he had some dry ground there. He knew we need an atmosphere, so he created one. And then he created plants and stuff. And then he created vegetables and stuff. And then he created men. There was order to what he did. So, so you telling me you, you, are you telling me that the scientists are wrong that the Big Bang didn't, didn't create the Earth? <laughs> there was order that that uh, intentional design is what that's called. Uh, and so, right. however they want to call it, it was intentional design. It is not by accident. This thing did not. It was it was it was in plan and, and carried out according to God's word. So, I mean it. It's okay if they disagree with me and that they, the scripture says it's true. And if you look at it, they, that's what it says. And so it says, I am the Lord. And guess what? There is no other. There's no other. That's right. That's what he says. I am the Lord. There the is Lord, no other. Lord. Here's what he says. I did not speak in secret in a land of darkness. 
I say to the offspring of Jacob, <clears throat> me in vain. So I don't mm -hmm. play with you. I'm not teasing you. Mm -hmm. I'm not making you up. I, the Lord, speak the truth. Mm -hmm. I declare what is right. Mm -hmm. I declare what, what is right. Assemble yourselves and come draw near together. You survivors of the nations. They have no knowledge who carry about their wooden idols and keep on praying to a God that cannot say. <laughs> Messed up. Declare yeah. and present your case. Let's talk about it. Let them take counsel together who told this long ago, who declared it of old. Was it not I, the Lord? And there is no other God besides me a righteous God, and a Savior. That's what he says. He's a righteous God and a Savior. In other words, he's just. He, 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 he has order, like order in the court. He has order, and things flow according to his order. But his order is just and right. Turn to me and be saved. Check that out. All the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is no other. By myself, I have sworn. He's the only one that can swear. <laughs> but he don't swear by something else. He swear by himself. Because he's got to keep what he says. And he's the only one can keep it. He can guarantee it. From mm -hmm. my mouth has gone out in righteousness. It went out in what? In righteousness. A word that shall not return. not return. To me, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall swear allegiance. Only in the Lord it shall be said of me. Our righteousness and strength to him shall come and be ashamed. All who were incensed against him. In the Lord, all the offspring of Israel shall be justified and shall glory. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I, got, right. I, got a, I got a point here to point out here. Go ahead. In the 20th verse, he talks about the wooden image that uh, a God that, that, that cannot speak and cannot say. That's right. Uh, do you know that there are there's Christian, Christianity faith where they have built not their wood image, but images of individuals, yes, and yes. for for certain type of and and they they base a good portion of religion around even though they they accept Jesus as the Savior, God oh, yeah. is the Father, but they they, they accept it and I, without naming it, what I want to say they they pray to the patron saint of this and the patron saint of that, and they have established that you know it is a national worldwide, I mean worldwide dominant religion and i'm saying this because there may be somebody listening but here it is the scripture telling us i am the lord and beside me there is no god those images can never save you those oh. images, in fact he speak of himself as being jehovah nisi jehovah rafi jehovah uh sick you jehovah otherwise i'm the provider Jehovah Jireh, which is what that song I was playing Jireh. Yeah. So, 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 so there's no, there's no other that can do those things but me. So, so the if if God's righteousness is is so crucial, yeah. Why can do? I know what faith tradition you're talking about, but I'm gonna miss oh, yeah. Mo. Go ahead. The Easter bunny. Uh huh. Yeah. The yeah. name Easter itself and the bunny. Were symbols of a fertility god. Right. Go ahead. What, what, yeah, the kid, they, they made me run. When I was a child, they made me run around the church singing, Here Come Peter Cottontail. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> you never did that, no. <laughs> and they had us doing Easter yeah. egg, <clears throat> which yeah. all came from pagan worship. <clears throat> yep, it did. And, and last month, y'all know y'all yeah. had Christmas trees up in y'all house. Yeah, I didn't, but called it an, an idle dog. But, but the Christmas tree did not come from uh, mm -hmm. did not come mm -hmm. from from uh, the pagan worship. It was started yes, as a different. 
different mm, type no. of feet. <laughs> no. Go look at Jeremiah 10. Uh, they, it, it, it describes that tree. That With Christmas tree? That Jeremiah tree. what? The 10th chapter. Oh. Okay. Then, so, so what I'm saying is, is people throughout history mm -hmm. in it upon themselves to help God and make symbols of righteousness. Mm -hmm. I told us to leave all that stuff alone. Right. They did what? Say that again, Calvin. They throughout history they tried to do what? They tried to we help God them. and create <laughs> symbols of righteousness. Help God. That's right. <laughs> That is exactly what they try to do. And, mm -hmm. and, I, and I understand they wanted to help God, but he said he don't need our help. He said he's God all by himself. We, yeah. we need the help. Hello? See. And faith says, faith says this, that God is right even when it don't look that way. Mm -hmm. and, it's, it's and, God and because... it comes through no matter what. That it, Faith says, uh, I, 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 got, I, I believe God even when it's crazy. Exactly. And, and I love the story of Gideon. I do too. The Gideon daddy had an astral pole outside the house. <laughs> astral poles were where women skankly class swung around that pole. <laughs> It's ridiculous. And because it offended God. Yep. Yeah. He went and took it down. Well, the angel told him to take it down. And so he because, went. And, and he took it down. And he took yep. the altar down. He told him to do that too. Knock all that down. And, and, and so what I'm saying is, is if we are going to live by faith. Yes. To let go mm -hmm. the happens that we've inherited. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I was gonna, I'm glad you said that because that, that's that, exactly and, what the angel was doing. And, and many of them did come from pagan tradition. Yes. No matter, how did, we, no matter how we tried to God plate them. They, that mm -hmm. We dressed them up. So we have to, if we take God's righteousness serious, when we know yeah. better, we got to do better. Mm -hmm. Hello. And, 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 and I am so stickler on that. Go ahead. Because, because people will see the preacher before they see other believers. Hello. Yeah. They will. They will definitely call me here and, too. And and so you have to um you gotta you gotta practice. What it, it is what God was, was doing with uh with the Gideon. Because that discussion and what he had with the angel, it let him let let the angel know he heard about God, but he didn't really know him. And, and so he was helping to establish a history with him by yeah. first of all having him get rid of the mm -hmm. things that were contrary. So so he had to clean up his life, but he cleaned it up yeah. with God's uh with God's guidance, not on his own. He didn't set, decide on what he's gonna get rid of. And what he's gonna keep. He let God tell him, and God told him what to get rid of. So he got rid of that. And and, it, mm -hmm. and then he had God did some more things to, to convince him crazy stuff. Let letting the uh, fleece be wet, but the ground be yeah. dry. And then let yeah. the ground be dry. I mean be wet, but the fleece be dry. And so that Gideon would know who he was, because his instruction to Gideon was gonna be crazy too. Because he's yeah, going to take 300 was. men and go up against 100,000 uh, warriors. With yeah, just, just and, and, for uh, God's and purpose, it was for Gideon's purpose. It was for Gideon's just, purpose and not for God. That, that just was, oh, yeah, all of that was building. It was building Gideon so that he would uh, follow God. He's building faith. Remember our scripture uh, in uh, Romans 1 says, from faith to faith. The faith uh, has uh, to grow. Okay. The faith has to grow. I, I like faith, to faith i have learned i have discovered faith is based upon what god has spoken yes mm -hmm. yes and and so you cannot be righteous unless you apply what god has spoken all right go ahead 
That's right. And, and when God speaks it, you don't have an opinion. You just start doing. It, that's why he said, uh, I have declared what is right. Assemble yourselves, come, draw near together. It's, they have no knowledge. Uh, you see, He says, that I have one, sworn by, I, by myself, I have sworn from my mouth okay. has gone out in righteousness a word that shall not return. So he said it, that's it. It's going to go out and do whatever he said it for it to do. So you're right, Kelvin. Whenever God speaks, we got to let that be it. Yes and amen. <laughs> it goes back to Romans again, where, where faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That's it. And, and uh, this is how God speaks to us in his word. Yes. And, and the only way that we're going to understand God's word is like Gideon, we need the spirit's help. Yes. We need I mean, we, we can read we, we, we can read this Bible from cover to cover and not see Jesus in it, mm -hmm. not one bit. Just look at the Jews. That's it. Uh -oh, well, we, need, we, we need the spirit of God to yes. open our eyes yep. to see. We do. And, 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 and it goes uh, right back to this thing about, you know, it, salvation is of the Lord. Amen. It's not right. of my, 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 quote unquote, my faith. But it is of the Lord yes. trusting in Him. Yes. Okay. My, my, my faith, the it, it, faith. If I can say this, my, my faith, going back to what Calvin said, is based on the Word of God. Amen. Amen. I, I'm, I'm putting my trust in what God said. And guess what yes, He said? That Christ is the, is the end of the law, and He's, the, he's <laughs> salvation for all. That's it. <laughs> See, That's it. When, when, when the Bible says that the power of life and death lie mm -hmm. in the tongue, mm -hmm. this image mm -hmm. that God speaks, a hand comes out of God's mouth and creates what God said. Go ahead. That's exactly so what That's happened. why God can declare yes. that through Jesus we were made righteous. Because when God spoke it, it was inactive. Yeah, that's it. The other thing that we yeah. have to deal with, and I love how Brother Tony talks about the spirit has to teach. Jesus' most famous title was rabbi. Teacher. Yes, teacher. You read the book of Acts, it's clear that the Holy Spirit's primary function is not to make you feel good. Uh-oh. It teaches you good. It teaches. Yeah. Look in the yeah. book of John. And he told him that the spirit was coming. He said it was going to do what? Lead us to all right. Oh, yeah, to all things. All yeah. truth. Yes. That, that, the other truth. thing is, too, uh, the spirit, uh, it, it, the scripture tells us to walk by the spirit and walk on the, you know, there, there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus walking mm -hmm. not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Uh, Paul gave a, a dissertation of, from the 13th verse to the 26 verse of chapter 7 of that Romans, just prior to stating that in Romans 8, and, and show that this course of how he conflicted in his heart as a man, an individual. Yes. But he said, who shall deliver us from the body of this death? I thank my God through the Lord Jesus Christ Almighty, through Jesus, through this, again, the salvation, faith in the salvation of Jesus Christ, that take us from faith to faith. Yes, we, we 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 deliver through salvation by faith, and we walk by faith. Our whole actions live by faith, and again, it it has to be. We have to accept and receive what what, what God has already delivered, because we can reject it now. We can reject yes. it, and I go back to that because people have rejected. But yes. if, if we reject it, it's just like living beneath your foot. It's just like telling, biting the hand that, that feeds you. It's like telling somebody, telling God, I don't want you. You know, he's divided, he's still pouring out. But in spite 
spite of ourselves, in spite of us, in spite of ourselves, he loves us. He looks beyond the song said by our fault and see our needs. And he still reaches his hand out to deliver us, to set us free, to bring us back into his fold in harmony with him. And I, I think God for that. I talked about a, last time that, that 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 Deuteronomy God told His people, "I'm, I'm setting before you blessings and curses." Mm -hmm. That's right. He's still saying that, and He, he gave us a clue: choose the blessings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is choose a piece the blessing. of there is a piece of salvation mm -hmm. that Greg so eloquently described, but we rarely actually state in a strong. Mm -hmm. That salvation is not just limited to where your soul spends eternity. Oh, no. It's the fact that God literally snatches you out of dangerous situations. Mm. He snatched you out. <laughs> like and because God is righteous, uh -huh. live by faith. Mm. God, God's righteousness keeps you from going into places that will right. attack your life and that will harm you. Mm. Why living faith is so important because our God saves us from dangers seen and unseen. That's how our ancestors used to pray it. That's right. It is the deal on that. It, it's the idea behind uh, salvation is complete. See, it's not a partial thing. Like with it is not fire insurance. Eternal mm -hmm. life is inherited. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna say that again. Eternal life is inherited. We inherit it because we become a part of him. Our relationship is what gets us into all of that. But the, the salvation is giving us a relationship with a holy God. It, it, we become sons and daughters, adopted mm -hmm. sons and daughters of mm -hmm. God himself. And we become uh, joint heirs with Christ. So the mm -hmm. idea isn't, it's, it's not about what you get as much as it is about what you get. But what you mm -hmm. get is him. And, mm -hmm. and if we get him, we got all the rest of it. It's, 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 it's more like who, who we are. Yes. We, 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 we are children of the king. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, uh, this, this 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 whole thing uh, about salvation, you know, it, it's an ongoing thing. Yes. Uh, Jesus Christ satisfied the the just commands of God's law. In that yes. He is the only one who was able to keep it, every word, jot, and tittle without sin. Amen. Proving that salvation can be earned by works yes. not ours but christ's his works that's right christ works he yes. is the only one who is able was able to keep the law perfectly mm -hmm. in word in thought and in deed yes and because of that he was also the uh propitiation, the satisfactor, mm. sa satisfying sacrifice for yes. the wages of sin, our mm -hmm. sin, right. yes. which is death. He died. It, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't no <laughs> focus pocus, just fell asleep and got up. He nope. died. Yes. It was separation dead. from his Completely body. Dead. You know, the, the spirit and body separated. Completely absolutely. Dead. Absolutely. And, and when I they went, when, when, when they went to break his legs, what he was already dead. And yeah. just to make sure, what they do, they pierced him in his side. That, right there, you go. That, this he that healing for all souls. What, what blood was that's, that? That's that 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 that's what we needed. Oh, yes. the blood, the blood yes. that Jesus shed for me. It shall never, no, never lose its power. His power. Right. That third day morning, he got up. And where is he now? Seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Until all of his enemies be made his footstool. And That's when right. that happens, he's going to bust through the clouds. Yes. He's going to come here, and get us. Here's a, here's a, here's uh -huh. a little catch, too, that we, we forget to look at and see and think about. 
the Lord has not only empowered us through the Holy Spirit, but it's empowered us to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Said. All right. That means we have the same benefits that he has. <laughs> we have the power to speak those things that be not as though they were as Go he ahead. did. Because he is empowered us because it's not just the same power, but it's the power that's in the inside. And when we say what God said, heaven and earth move according to what God word. We speak the word, the word through with sincerity and faith, uh, things move for us. He even tell us that you shall say what to, uh, to this mountain be thou removing, be thou cast in the sea, and, and believe in it, not doubt in his heart, then you shall have whatsoever you say. You shall, now that ain't a prosperity message. To have what, that's, that's what a, you say. That's a, what you say. That's a message of redemption and uh, deliverance yes. power. Restoring man back to his redemption because restoring man back to what God made him originally. But now you know you, who named all the animals? Adam did. <laughs> you know who spoke some things? Is this the Adam did? He said, he, the woman came out of his place said, flesh and bone of my bones, flesh and my thou shalt be called woman out of my flesh. He gave that, that title to it. He spoke. He touched the he, earth. He named he it. About, and all those things happened because God put that power. He ruled. And Jesus came to bring that, re that restore that power. Otherwise, the, 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 the issue is order restored when Jesus came and did what he did. He, order he, restored. He had to set the relationship between God and man back right. correct. Because right. God, it was God and man and then God's creation. And, yep. and, and man had drifted off and, and was working under Satan. But that, that's what he was created for. So God, yeah. Jesus came and put God, uh, man, back on the, he had to yeah. restore that relationship. That's why, that's why we just reconcile. Because reconcile means to, to, uh, to bring back, to restore mm -hmm. back. And so he reconciled us back. But he gave us a relationship that we, did, we had lost, we didn't have. Mm -hmm. And so he had to give us that back. And, and it had to be done in a way that was satisfying just mm -hmm. it had to be just the we we serve a just god he couldn't do something that was unjust some people say well why did he just declare us righteous and let it go at that because justice had to be satisfied and in order mm -hmm. for justice to be satisfied somebody somehow that sin debt that death had to be paid Death, mm. because the wages of sin is death. And, and, and the other thing is, is if he just declared us righteous, then what happens tomorrow when we sin again? He got to come back and do it again. That's why when Jesus did it, it was once and for all. And he right, said, there you one, go. it's finished. You don't have to do it <laughs> over. He ain't got to repeat it. He ain't got to address right. it. It, it, it. It is finished. It's done. And so yeah. one of the one of the things that I love about God's righteousness that it when we by faith become a part of God's righteousness, as Paul says, described it um, in one of his epistles, then the scripture where Jesus says, Greater works that I have for you yeah. because I go to the Father. Yes. Yeah. And John, it's John 14, um, I may not have quoted it verbatim, but I realized that by faith, those great works like Adam did, that same creative power is in us. Yeah. Now we want to deal with Adam, the works that Jesus did. All right. We get All access right. to do those same kind for mm -hmm. his glory, but it's under his name. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I hear I, I hear what we're saying and um it, it it's 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 almost like we're saying we, we we're we're becoming little Jesuses and and I and, and I I don't believe that that's what we're saying. Oh that's no. not yeah no, that's I, not I, I, I don't believe that that's what I, we're saying. I am no. saying that in our oneness with him mm -hmm. we 
to continue to work for him and mm -hmm. for his purpose that he declared for us. It's not about representation. It's what we're doing for his mm -hmm. glory, not about us. Because right. Jesus did say greater works will we do. Right. But it's not under our authority. Yeah. It's not under our authority our or our him. power. Right, it, right. It's, it's about him. So it's the, 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 the God's works. power yeah. and God's authority. Yeah. It's always about God. It's always God's yeah. always the, the reason, and he, the glory and honor all go back to Him. Yeah. No uh, ultimately, the, the the worst that 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 we're doing is just pointing the world to Christ. Right. I That's mean, right. We, we we we're not trying to you know bring down you know uh, miracles or what have you or go ahead. you know just do do just. Magical he, he things. Will, will all all, all we're things. here to do is to yeah. live a life that's pleasing to God, that's different from the world. You well, know, yes. just just like just like we were talking about this situation with uh, Gideon tearing down the mm -hmm. poles and stuff. We, we we don't go there, and 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 and, and we have, you know, the the the, the righteousness of Christ in us realizing that you know that does not honor him amen <clears throat> yeah see there and, is, and, here there, here's not 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 equal in ourselves with god by doing works that god has said we're going to do but there are there are gifts and, and uh operations that that god has put in us to do those things that's why you say he gave some apostles some prophets some evangelists mm -hmm. some pastors and teachers for the equipment of the perfecting of the saints, because there there are works that are going to be done, miracles and wonders and signs, you know, going to come through God's people. But we are we're merely the instrument that God worked through, and God still gets the glory. See, when we but, get but now, we get doing stuff, the, the laying thing hands is, and yeah, it, it, and it, we it, we're not becoming God. We're not becoming little gods. What we're becoming is the representation of who God is and what God is, and we show. It. That, that's why I say, let your light so shine before yeah. men that they may see your good works. They're going to see the glorify good the Father. Yeah. And right, glorify right. the Father, which it's, is in it, heaven. It's, so, it's kind of like the, the moon to the sun, in essence. I mean, the, the moon has no light in and of itself, but it reflects the light of the sun. And that's right. that's what we're doing. And the stars, yeah. too, yeah. We, we, we actually... Uh, <laughs> we, we, we actually use his power to do his works and mm -hmm. all of those signs and wonders <laughs> the idea behind those isn't yeah. to make us look good it's so that people will believe who he is so that 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 it's 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 it's, it's, to, it's to help them really understand who he is christ did all of that so that uh it would actually build our faith to understand who god is so that we would yeah. recognize god is who he say he is yeah, that, that's yeah. the whole idea. And yeah. so that let them know who he is. Now they still got to put their faith in him. Yeah. That 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 they he doesn't take that step away. He just makes it plain so that they can't pretend like they didn't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's what the, the 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 creation is, is is enough to testify again uh, to prove that mm -hmm. there is a God Amen. that that God exists. Amen. It is not enough for us to believe in the salvation, uh, the salvific work of, of God. We, we need Christ for that. Mm -hmm. And and the only way that we get that is through the spirit of God. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> through the hearing of his word. Uh, We we're called. When, we, when we speak we're, of you know be, be, being justified, satisfying mm -hmm. God's justice, uh, mm -hmm. thus being declared righteous, mm -hmm. then you know that's that that's only a part of our salvation. We, we, we ahead, we're right. also being sanctified. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 that sanctification work is 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 the the working out of our salvation with fear and trembling, what God has put in us. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that's what, that, that's what we're really saying when we talk about the works 
that we do becoming more like Christ, miracles and what have you. Uh, the, these works are, are not ours, but they're, they're his. And, yeah. and, and it's for the upbuilding of the church, not to bring glory to ourselves. Edifying, yeah, building up. <clears throat> it is, it's definitely for the edification of, of the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. but, and I want to want to focus us back though on the uh, what that first part what you're talking about because the the we we can't get to works until we get to be accepted his righteousness in the first place right, so, right. we we, we got to get there first and, and really that's where the the first part of Romans is, is all that's what this scripture in Romans is about and that's what mm -hmm. but so you you got to accept and actually become get to God uh, by faith to get his righteousness. And then he'll move you from faith to faith. He'll, he'll make your faith increase, but you got to get there first. So uh, just to, uh, as we get more towards our end, I want to go to uh, Romans 4, and uh, we're going to go to verses 3 through uh, 8. And because I want people to, re to uh, really get that, we get God's righteousness by faith. It's not something, it, 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 and, and the idea is we're declared righteous, okay? Romans 4, 3 through 8. For what does the scripture say? We talked about that, right? God's word. What does the scripture mm -hmm. say? So Paul, he's writing scripture, but he's referring to Old Testament scripture. Abraham believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness. And uh, some other uh, translations said was reckoned unto him for righteousness. Uh, mm -hmm. Or it, it was uh it was it, it was put on his record that he was righteous. Why? Because he believed God, he had faith in God. Now to the one who works, his wages are not counted as a gift, but as his due. So if you work, you earn that, right? Mm -hmm. That's that's what he's saying. And to the one who does not work, but believes in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted as righteousness. So it, it's our faith that gets us. Uh, we actually got to believe what mm -hmm. Christ did. We got to accept it. Just as David also speaks of the blessings of the one to whom God counts righteousness apart from works. So he's counting our righteousness based upon faith. And, and I want you to understand this. No matter how many great deeds we do, none of those have anything to do with us being righteous. All of our, uh, it, 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 that's why he wanted you to understand that our righteousness is apart from works. All of our righteousness is, is the result of faith. It is counted from faith. Blessed are those who lawless deeds are forgiven. Notice that. He says, wait a minute. Blessed are those who lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Wait a minute. I thought we was good people. He said... We still mess up. That's, mm -hmm. And we've had some mess ups in the past. We still mess up, and we're probably going to have some in the future. Not probably. That's what Paul was talking about in Romans 7, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord will not count Impute. his sin. <laughs> it, he's saying we're blessed. Because God won't count our sins. But we only mm -hmm. you only get that as a gift. That's what Christ, that's one of the things he got for us. He, he got that. Because see, we couldn't have the relationship with the sin still being there. That, that we, 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 were under, we were under the curse of death. That we were mm -hmm. marked for, and we earned it. It, it was righteously deserved. It was not something that was uh, uh, that that somebody given us or made us do. It was righteousness deserved. It was just, but so 
because the, the wages of sin is death. And so we, we were under that curse and he moved us, he removed that curse and put us into righteousness. So yeah. that now- Jesus we, also said that in John, uh, the third chapter, that uh, those who are in darkness are under the wrath of God. Yes. And, 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 still and under that, his wrath. that's- that, that and that's what we're really talking about. We, yes. we, that 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 raft of God is death it, because and, of our the, sin. The, the, and until the, we, and, uh, until that sin has been forgiven, wiped clean, we cannot enter into a presence of a thrice holy God. There you go. We need the blood. We can't We've got it. to plead the blood. Without the blood, there is no remedy mm -hmm. for our case i don't care how well we work how can <laughs> yeah. we be in it that, ain't gonna work so, so you yeah. mean saying that they, the does person not, doesn't matter yeah, yeah, right, again, right. yeah. and we run around saying but they're a good person that don't mean they're gonna get to go to hell that's right jesus um, said all of our righteousness is like 50 rags right. to god what, what 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 good works did the thief on the cross do? How 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 could he do? He he was he was pinned to the cross, and he earned it. And he, he earned it. He, 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 he earned confessed that. it. He, he he owned it. He owned it. He said, "We are here justly, but Christ, not so." Humanly speaking. You uh, Jesus. Th this is bared out. It, when the church got established yes. in the book of Acts, because the house of Cornelius, yes, uh, was Gentile, and he he was giving alms to the poor. He was doing good works. He was doing the thing that 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 uh, God establishing His people as a church that should be doing as well, and that yes. they were doing it too. But he was doing it, but yet without something that was missing. And God, God he praying to God daily. And God opened his eyes and said, hey, send for this man. He's one Simon that dwells in, with a tanner on the, by the sea. Send for him and he'll come and tell you what's necessary. What is he to do? He came and preached to him the gospel. He came and told him about the holy God, about the righteousness of God and the yes. gospel yes. salvation. Yes. And the Holy Ghost fell and you know the rest of the history. The Holy Ghost fell and they, they all got baptized. And they got still power, empowered by God to walk from that day forth in the kingdom of God. Not only was his works good on earth, but his now was building up treasures in heaven by doing there those things. There you go. There and you it was go. Bared out. Together. It was bared out. It was bared out by, by, by what, what happened in the book of Acts. And constantly through the book of Acts, God kept doing that, transforming lives through the gospel, through what, what they were preaching and teaching. Now, not everybody received it, but you know, sometimes when he went, Paul went to the Jews, yeah. they some of them rejected him to the point where they stoned him almost to death. They yeah, had to uh, lift him up to escape the city so he could continue on. But he that's continued. Right. That light kept going. That shine, it kept shining. And in fact, it got so infectious until the Roman Empire became known as the Holy Roman Empire. And that's not by chance. You know, and I, I, I have some other stories that I can tell you because I've done some research with people that go over there and saw what they did at those temples before they before they got invaded with the wrong with wrong messages. And I guarantee you, you know, you'll be surprised how that holy Roman Empire was actually following what the church had offered, had, had established. And some of the things that, but yet there was the leaders that still rejected still did not believe, and they tried to burn the Christians, tried to destroy them, but they could not stop Christianity. It kept going until it got to, east, to the western shores over the United States of America. It's now, still going. How it came, it got over here, no matter what, it went to Africa, it's going everywhere else, and it's still going. It's circulating the, goal of the, the globe again. <laughs> Jesus so, says, on this rock, I will build my church and, and the, the gates gate. of hell shall not, not prevail. prevail against it so yeah. so yeah it's going to they weren't going to be able to stop it but now he also yeah. told people that 
There are going to be many come and say, I did this and did that in your name. Yeah, they sure and, will. And he's going to say, depart from me, I never knew you. And, and, and the issue is, is, is that relationship. That, that, mm -hmm. that I, I, I want to make sure that we understand that. He, he, he restored the relationship between man yeah. and God individually. Notice that mm -hmm. Hebrew word, well, verse again. He did it individually. He, mm -hmm. he didn't try to do it for everybody at once. He made it available for everybody mm -hmm. at once, but he does it individually. So mm -hmm. I can't be saved for my cousin or my kid or mm -hmm. my father or my brother. I've got to be saved for mm -hmm. myself. Yeah, and so right. does everybody else. And that's why mm -hmm. he talks about every knee shall bow and every, every tongue time. confess mm -hmm. individually, not, not mm -hmm. uh, collectively, uh, uh, individually. It, we all got to face that same thing. And, and some of us already have because we've already declared him Lord of all. Uh, yeah. but, so, so God is wanting us to all come to him by faith. And we don't get his righteousness except mm -hmm. by faith. We're going to talk about that some more as we go through this. But I want to establish those two things. First of all, is God is being righteous, is being part of his nature, part of who he is, uh, and it being akin to his justice and his holiness. Notice we kept coming back to that, him being just, him being holy, and, and, and only talking about thrice holy God. You can't go in his presence you don't just stumble off in there. That's how you get killed. <laughs> so that, that's a good, it's a recipe for disaster. You don't, you don't just stumble up in there. You, it, 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 and, and you see that played out even on earth. You couldn't just run up in the, uh, the, the, the throne room. That, that's, that wasn't right. allowed. A fellow did that, they cut his head off. So you, you, you actually have to approach him in the right way. And he is the king of kings. So, mm -hmm. so, so you know, he don't have to get somebody else to, to take you out. It, it automatically, his glory is going to mm -hmm. take you out. So, uh, so, so we come through him, to him, through Christ, and, and through Christ alone. So it was through, through the gospel that mm -hmm. we get to righteousness, but it's done by faith. And that faith has to come by the word of God. It comes mm -hmm. by the word that he spoke, not something we can't make it up to get there on our own. We actually have to believe him. Uh, comments, because we got to go. <laughs> it's an excellent this evening. I enjoyed it. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I thank the uh, brothers for uh, coming and, and sharing and all of the blessings that you guys bring. It's uh, mm -hmm. it, 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 and, and, and I pray that our, our, our message is, is accepted in the spirit it was given and that God is being redemptive. He's not being punitive. He's not trying to beat somebody up. He is, he is wanting to save souls. And that's our goal is to, is to lead you to Christ. It's to point you to, to, to the Father through the Son. And, and because the Son said that's the only way you get to the Father. And so we want you to get there and get there according to the scripture. Because in 1 Corinthians 15, Paul even said everything Jesus did was according to the word of God, was according to scripture. It, it, his births, his death, his resurrection, all according to scripture. And guess what? Him being God's son and having to follow scripture, what makes us think we're going to have it, get it our way? Really? Mm -hmm. He was God's son, and he had to follow scripture. And, and, and he, he couldn't just make it up. He couldn't just uh, play it by ear and do it like he wanted. He had to follow scripture. And and, and being, being God's son, meaning that he had all of the, the wherewithal and power of God, yet he did not use that. He actually humbled himself to come under the subjection of following the dictates in the authority of God. And now he, 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 all he's asking us, asking us, check that out, asking us as if we somebody, he's asking us to, to, to humble ourselves and do the same. So 
it, it, the, the, the scriptures say that the day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. So so don't, don't, let's not be stiff necked because let's do God's work, God's way. Let us follow him. And next time we'll talk about some of the other issues that were brought up that have to do with uh, people not really following God's way, but warning God's blessing. <laughs> so the, the, that's God. not righteous. It, it won't ever work, but we'll talk about that next time. So somebody close us out with a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for this opportunity. And we thank you, Lord, for the discussion and the word that was shared tonight. We ask your blessings upon those that hear. And Lord, cause us not only to hear us, but do us as I will. Yes, Everything sir. that we heard and we received in this word that needs to be applied in our lives, Lord, those things that we need to correct, let us correct with a pure yes, and righteous heart and a willing heart in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord. Show us that path continuously. Open our understanding yes, continuously. And let it be plain and simple, Lord, that we understand and walk in faithfully. In the name of Jesus, mold and shape us after your will, as only you can do. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God.